guys take it, say some words. What are your experience tonight? Is it filming? Yeah. All right. What are your experiences of Nick? Wow. What do you think? You've met him tonight. What do you think? Uh, be honest. Be brutally honest. 100%. You're never going to meet him again. What are you thinking? <laughs> say anything. Yeah, he's if he's a dick, you can say it. Yes, he is. Naughty boy. He's a naughty boy? Yeah. What? Naughty boy. That's it? Uh, what else? Lay it on him. Go hard. Go yeah. hard. He's sexy. He's, He's sexy? sexy. Yeah, okay, strong. okay. Yeah. Yes. Strong, yes. sexy. You don't naughty think I'm boy. nice at all? <laughs> I'm nice too. What else? What else? Don't listen to him. Say whatever oh, you mean. Okay. Say whatever you mean. I don't know. Anything. You know something. You know something. You want uh, to What say. do you think of me? I think. I think you go your own path. I think I think you're a copycat of Andrew Tate without being a copycat. Andrew Tate? Without being a... No, that's my point. I think you speak your same mind the same way he does. I'm, I'm not saying your views are aligned. I'm not saying you're the same person. I say you speak your mind the same the way he does. And I think you captivate your audience the same way he does. I think by being your truthful self, I think you captivate your audience and I think you resonate with a lot of young men today because I think a lot of young men today are trapped in society's hamster wheel or you're trapped within whatever society tells them is the normal way of thinking things. And I don't agree with a lot of things you say right now. Being 22, being 27, I think there might be an age difference. There might be, there might not be, we might just be different. Uh, but I think you respect my viewpoints and I think you respect me asking you questions and disagreeing to some extent and I respect that with you. You're not you're not Focused on being right 100% of the time. You're focused on saying your mind saying your piece If someone else has something else to say they can say it you can listen you can appreciate it But you're not gonna change who you are. I'm not gonna change who I am We can have an open dialogue and we can exchange opinions and we're not gonna change anything about that and I think you're cool. Living life, traveling the world, meeting new people, having an open mind, meeting flower girls saying flowers. You can talk to prostitutes, you can talk to <laughs> me traveling with my sister, you can talk to her traveling alone, you can talk to whoever you want and have a respectful, normal conversation and still sleep good at night knowing you did the right thing and not, I don't know, losing your values. Beautifully spoken. Last thing for the recording. Yes. When you first met me, what did you think of me? I thought you were cool. You reached out to me. I was going back to my apartment. You didn't say anything. You just said, what, what, what's up, dude? Let's talk. You invited me to hang out. I was like, I'm a bit tired tonight. I might not. I'm leaving. I don't care that much. But then another part of me was interested because you travel around and you see someone traveling solo. You want to talk to them. You want to learn their history, you want to learn what they're talking about, what they want, why they're traveling alone, and that's kind of what made me go out. Definitely worth it, guys. If you ever meet this guy, go out with him, ask him questions, grill him. Um, hey, also, yeah. also, also, you told me you're going through a little something. Has tonight helped you out a little bit? I told him I'm going through a heartbreak. My first ever, never gone through that before. I'm 22 years old. And going out, it didn't change anything, but I really think it made me view things differently. Um, different yeah. perspective. Different perspectives. I don't think, I don't think one night's gonna change my personality, but I think a personality is made up by different encounters and different interactions. And I think tonight I had a, I had a good one. I learned a lot. I'm, I'm left with a bunch of different intera uh, different uh, perspectives. And, and I think books. And books to read. And books to read. I'm def <laughs> I have three or four books to read. After this, we'll see. We'll uh, reconvene in a couple years and we'll see how I changed. But for now, it was a, it was a great experience. I, I'm not regretting it at all. And I en encourage everyone viewing this to take a beer or a few beers with this guy. Or just meet new people and have a good time. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You only live once. Live bold!